Are you ready? I'm always ready. Ah. All right. Now, what are, we are looking for? We are uh, we're looking for a uh, rare little crustacean, blind shrimp-like critter. I'm looking at you the whole time. <laughs> that uh, this uh, this is the type. You have to look in right uh, now. <laughs> this is the type locality for. <laughs> so I can't do this. <laughs> it's the type locality for the critter he's looking for. Yeah, it's also the type of locality for Eurasia Latitans, the Cascade Caverns salamander. That's it. That's it. Well, that was great. Uh -huh. And check this out. So they leave the these things on all they the time. They did. They did for a while. They, they're, they're they're changing the lights. See, you have tadpoles that are living in here feeding on the algae, and then they're they feeding turn. on that frog. Well, that's the adult. The adult, adult has nothing to eat. So when they um, when they metamorphosize and hop around, they starve to death. So you see lots of tadpoles and a lot of dead frogs. Wow. <clears throat> that's not supposed to be in a cave. <laughs> it's not supposed to be algae. So that's like uh... it's a different ecosystem. And all this algae is grown here just because of, the, of these lights. Right, the lights that have been left on for many years or more, I'm not even sure. And they leave them on 24 hours. Often, yeah, they leave them on quite often. And even if they leave them on all day and turn them off at night, which sometimes they did, you know, I'm not sure exactly if they left them all the time, it's still tw tw you know, 12 hours a day of light is going to, it's going to let things grow. Right. Wow, that's crazy. Now, what's the deal with this fern? Because that light's on it all the time? Yeah, that light. Is that the hole we're going into? Yep. That's it. Crazy. So there's the main room. There's the pipe. There are the falls. Coming. Take your medication. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm out of my freaking mind. <laughs> Did it work? The crew. <laughs> Although you're all foggy. That's your, that's your camera lens, I think. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Some good rack and chewing right there. Oh, that's cheap. 
This one has eyes, it looks like. Here. Yeah, these are, these are uh, lens hands, the surface ones. I'm coming. Oh, they're, but they're cave his tail sticking out. He was sitting all nice and pretty. See his tail in right there? The moving part? I do. I wonder if we can get him to. He was sitting all nice and pretty until he saw him. He got my light and he moved on in. He's just under the bush. We have so many technical problems here in the cave. Videotaping stuff. Billy? Yeah. See if we can get him. I thought he went right there. I did too. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Wow. He's very, um... Actors. Not only that, but he's very, um... <laughs> no, uh... <laughs> Robust. <laughs> no, but, uh, white. How about, um... Trogomorphic? That work. Score? Let's see if I can get an actual shot of him. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's nice. Here's what's eating the salamanders. And now I will attempt to let him go. Okay, here is a cave adapted harvestman. Can you see it at all? It's a little reflection, yeah. Blind cave adapted spider with an egg sac. This is the honey hole. This is the only place I found them in this entire cave. So, this like little teeny. Yep. Not, this, you mean not over here? Just here and right a little bit downstream. This little spot is the only place I found them. I've looked throughout this entire lower. Well, cave. what great luck for you, but what rotten luck for that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're in other parts too. They're just uh, hard to find, or maybe the salamanders are eating them. It's, it, over there, it's also real white and they, they blend in really well. That little stream over here. But this seems to be a hot spot. I think it's because there's no salamanders out here eating them. And there's also a lot of this leafy debris they can feed on. Wait, wait, he's finding one. Did you find one? Yeah. Wait, there we go. Alright. Right there. That's what we're after. Little blind cave crustacean. Wait, see, I think I can actually get it. Wait, wait, right. They get, there's a bigger one in there somewhere. It's missed. alive. It's moving. What is this called? This is Stegobromus dejectus. It's a little blind cave amphipod. A little shrimp-like critter that was found originally here. And there's one other locality. It's extremely rare. That's it. It's also the closest relative. Where's the other locality? And what's in Camp Bullis? It's just downstream. Uh huh. In a stealth cave. Um, along uh, the Cibolo Creek watershed, so it makes sense that they'd, they'd be down there as well. And what did you say about it? It's the only, it's a... Um... It's the only, uh, it's the closest relative to the endangered one in, in New Braunfels. It's a pet guy in the Pex Cave Amphipod. This is, this is called the, the sure. Cascade Caverns Amphipod, I guess. Cave Amphipod. Where? I never have a conclusion when he takes his hand. Alright, so, we found him. Randy found the, what is it called? Uh, the Amphipod. Cascade Caverns. We found the and we found the salamander. Yeah. Cascade Cavern salamander. Um, Eurasia latitans. So we did it. Victory. This light is bright. Any last words? I like how these hang movies just kind of sort of end. <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs>